safe from the 70s, the Brady Bunch has returned with a vengeance. And as Greg Risch reports, we're not talking about reruns. Here's the story of a lovely lady. These actors may look very familiar to you, not because you've seen them before, you probably haven't, but because you've seen these people. TV's Brady Bunch. For five years in the mid-70s and in reruns ever since, the Brady Bunch symbolized wholesome American family life. The problems and the plots were simple. A typical storyline might deal with competition to use the family bathroom. But a whole generation saw the episodes again and again. And apparently some people still can't get enough. This line of people is waiting to attend a performance of the real live Brady Bunch. The play has been running here at Chicago's Annoyance Theater for the past year and has been selling out its 200 seats for its twice a week shows. Fluffy, I'll show you this fluffy. The audience is young, mostly in their 20s, and they roar at every line. What they took seriously as children now seems very funny. Well, I, I enjoyed the Brady Bunch or whatever growing up, and I, I think it'd be pretty good uh, kind of mocking it. Well, I like watching the Brady Bunch still, the rerun. <laughs> And I get in trouble for watching it at home. So, she and the rest of the audience come to see the Brady Bunch performed live, word for word, as it was on television. Oh, no! But somehow, it turns out differently. Because it was in syndication for so long, and because kids were bombarded with it, including us, they're so familiar with it that it's almost a... When you see it on stage like this, it's like the Rocky Horror sensation of, of knowing the lines and wanting to communally say the lines back with the actors. These two sisters, Jill and Faith Soloway, who managed the theater, created the real live Brady Bunch, and they have a genuine affection for the show. It's true, it's, it's true. true. We watched it all the time together. We used to stay up in bed at night trying to name more episodes than the other one. That yeah. was a contest. If anybody should do this, we should. Yeah. we I'm saying it right here. Yeah. For a while, they almost regretted what they'd done. A concerned executive from Paramount Television, the owners of the Brady Bunch, showed up one night, and the sisters were certain they were going to be sued. But the executive, Sherwood Schwartz, loved it. Paramount didn't want, nor did I, didn't want anybody making fun of the show. And if they had been doing that kind of show, in other words, on the stage, uh, indeed, I would have said to Paramount, hey, they're hurting this show. They're hurting the image. And when I saw the show, I realized that they weren't. They loved it. The audience loved it. Now, the play is rapidly becoming a Chicago cult classic. And the actors don't even need scripts to study their lines. They memorize by watching actual Brady Bunch episodes. They are thrilled and surprised at its current success. What's more surprising than, than just having a full house is when people come and say, I've driven here from Iowa or next week we've got a guy who's coming from Columbus, Ohio, just to see the Brady Bunch. To me, I think, uh, I, I think it's funny, and I think that, I mean, I don't think the Brady Bunch is a great show, but I think that what we're doing with it is great. So great that they're thinking about taking it on the road. The Soloway sisters are trying to put together a college tour for next year, so it may be coming to a city near you. And that's how they all became the real live Brady Bunch. The Brady Bunch. And the trend continues. In Edmonton, Canada, a theater group is packing the house with live performances of Gilligan's Island. Now that was a TV show. Maybe I don't recall the series. I'm Janet Zapala. I'm Bill Sternoff. That's personality. We'll see you on Monday.